Hey, hey, what's good YouTube? It's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to blow up on TikTok in 2021. Now I know there's a ton of videos all over the internet covering this topic and how to get more views on TikTok. However, this is the most updated version of this type of video. As you guys all know, TikTok's algorithm is consistently changing every single year. That's why it's very important to stay up to date with how to get the most out of your TikTok account. Now this video did take a lot of research and a long time to come up with these tips. So if you guys could leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton. It would really help me out as I'm trying to hit my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get right into the tips starting at number one, and that is filming directly on the TikTok app. Now this is a tip you probably have heard of before from other YouTube videos or just on TikTok in general. And it's actually true that videos that are filmed on the app perform better than videos that aren't filmed on the app. Now, the reason that people thought this was an issue before is that TikTok just wanted all their videos filmed within the app itself, but that's not the real reason. The real reason that videos filmed on the app perform better is because in TikTok's algorithm, it filters out copied videos from like YouTube or whatnot. So if you post a YouTube video and then just post it onto TikTok, it may not get pushed to the For You page simply because it gets striked down as a copied video. So when you use filters that are from a different app or outside of the TikTok realm and you record it on your camera on your phone and then bring it over into TikTok for whatever reason in their algorithm, sometimes it counts it as copyrighted material. It's kind of confusing to explain, but simply put, just film everything on the app itself and don't use any outside sources if you can. This doesn't mean that if you use an outside source, your video still can't blow up. It still can, but the chances are less likely. Number two is the share buttons on your video. Everyone knows about share, copy, click, cancel, but TikTok actually changed their algorithm a bit up just because that was getting abused by people people were just doing it to get more views on their account so now your video has to be shared and then it also has to be opened by the person you shared it to to count towards the algorithm if you ever wanted to manually get more views you'd have to share your video to a bunch of friends and then they would have to manually open that video and interact with it the third tip is making your video re-watchable and this is extremely important with TikTok's algorithm because videos that are watched more than once perform a lot better on the For You page and garner a lot more traction. The reason is because TikTok wants their users to use the app as long as possible. So a TikTok that people rewatch over and over again are going to garner a ton of views. If you guys want some tips on how to make a video rewatchable? You can maybe make it into a seamless loop. So the beginning and the end loop into each other so it doesn't even seem like the video ever ends. Or you can add a little Easter eggs within the video that people are going to comment in the comment section and be like, wait, wait, did you see that? And then other people are going to go and rewatch your TikTok and it just creates a lot more traction within the video. The fourth tip is to make your video engageable. And this is probably the most important tip in this entire video. So I'll kind of go more in depth this, but basically what you want to do is engage your users in the first couple seconds. You don't want the first seconds to be anything bland. You want to catch their attention right away because if you don't catch their attention, chances are they just scroll off and that's going to screw you over in the algorithm. Some other things that can help you out if you ask questions in the description or in the captions, it's gonna create a conversation and that's gonna have more people engage with your video that will create more comments in the comment sections, more likes and more shares. If there's something in your video that is controversial or extremely funny or just something that can be talked about that will increase the comment section, this is gonna help with the overall status of your video. Audience retention is extremely important on TikTok. So making a end goal at the end of the video, giving good giving the users a reason to watch the entire thing is going to help your video out. So make sure there is an end goal. There's something at the end that makes it worthwhile for your users to watch the entire TikTok. Another tip is to not swear on your video. This is actually proven that when you use swear words, it's less likely for your video to get pushed into the For You page. So if you do have to swear or use a swear word in a caption, make sure you use an asterisk when you use that word, just so your video doesn't get flagged down. The next tip is to make your videos 15 seconds or less over a six 
60 second video. Kind of an old tip and it stays true to today. 15 second videos get pushed way more than any 60 minute video. I'm pretty sure the ratio is like 10 to 1. So for every 10 15 second videos that get put on the For You page, about one 60 second video gets put on the For You page. Basically, this means your video has a greater chance if it's 15 seconds long. However, don't worry if you do have like a 60 second video, there is still a chance for it to hit the For You page. Another tip is to post regularly and this is very factual almost on literally any social media account if you want to contain your fan base you got to keep posting videos you can't go like two weeks or three weeks without posting anything and then just post one video and then go mia for another two weeks you have to be consistent with your content every single day make it your goal to at least put one video up if not two TikTok is honestly all about quantity over quality, which isn't very common in most social media spaces. However, with TikTok, you can get away with just throwing up some shitty TikTok videos. As long as you're pushing out content, the algorithm will favor your account. And the last tip is using hashtags. And I know you guys have heard this all over the internet to use hashtags to help your video, but not for the right reasons. People think that adding hashtags like FYP for you page are going to help their video and those hashtags actually do nothing for your video. What you want to use is niche hashtags that allow TikTok's algorithm to promote your video to the right kind of people. If your video is about cooking and food, make sure to use the hashtags cooking, food, tutorial, food, tutorial, and then even hashtag the specific foods that you're cooking with or what kind of culture that you're cooking the food with. For example, if you're cooking Mexican food, use hashtag Mexican, hashtag Mexican food. This will push your TikTok to a more segmented group that is maybe Mexican people that will relate with that video. Overall, this is going to help the views within your video if it's pushed to a better audience. And also with hashtags, do not use hashtags that don't relate well with your video. Even if it's a popular hashtag, if it has nothing to do with your video, it's going to hit an audience that may not engage as well with your video compared to a different segmented market. So that's why hashtags are important, but probably not for the reasons you thought before. Anyways, guys, that's been all the tips I have for 2021 to blow up on TikTok. I've been seeing some recent success on my own TikTok myself, so I thought I'd share some tips with you guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments section if you want to see more tiktok related content anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace see ya later